the Stealth Network is a joint venture between De Devon County Council and the new Devon CCG. We also work with partner organisations such as Babcock, Exeter City Council. The LGBT is for lesbian, bisexual, gay and transgendered members of staff. But we also have LGBT+, and the plus indicates for staff that don't identify as LGBT. Many organisations have support groups for LGBT staff, and Devon's group has been established for the last 12 years. The staff group is really important as promoting visibility um, around LGBT issues. It provides as a support network for staff. It provides as a consultation point for, service, for managers to come and speak to uh, and discuss particular issues that may be going on within their service or kind of um, information that we want to disseminate across, counts, uh, across uh, Devon. Um, it's also really important as part of promoting our um, commitment to equality and diversity within the council as well. Um, and it provides a, an opportunity for network members to come together and discuss um, issues affecting their workplace, um, as well as being members of DCC staff. Our view is very clear. We're a large organisation and the messages we're getting is that things are not consistent and people's experiences are not consistent. And actually having a network means that that voice can be brought together, that people can feel that they're not alone in the organisation, that they're not isolated, and that we've got a mechanism for helping us as senior leaders ensure that there is consistency of practice across the County Council and that we continually strive to get better. So that's the importance of a, a network. It's a live thing, it's present, it sort of drives, uh, helps us as senior leaders to understand the experience of people working in the organisation and we as leaders want to promote network. Yeah, I, th I think the pledge is hugely important. Uh, what it does is it establishes formally a commitment by this Council to make sure that everybody is treated equally and fairly. And I think what we need to do is we need to follow that up and I think indeed we are following that up with, for example, the um, Equality Reference Group who are very much involved in terms of what we do at County Council. Um, and of course this, this doesn't just revolve around the County Council itself. We should send a message out to the people outside of this Council demonstrating very clearly our commitment to people irrespective of which group they might belong. We had a fantastic opportunity this year as Devon County Council supported Exeter Pride in May 2017. Um, we've got an opportunity as a, we have renewed our LGBT plus pledge to members of staff and we've recently seen that signed by our leadership team and we're going to be developing a way about how teams can disseminate and pick that up within their own localities. And we've also got an opportunity to relook and revisit how we are supported by our friends and allies um, as we go on to promote and communicate about a greater awareness of the network um, going forward for the rest of this year. Stephen's presentation on behalf of the LGBT plus network to the County Council's leadership group was extremely powerful. Um, I think the first thing that struck us was that one of the team that the team that joined Stephen actually told us um, that her office didn't know that she was there and she would have felt uncomfortable about them knowing that she was there and that really struck a personal chord with us. Presentation covered a number of points and I suppose again the most powerful thing was the personal stories and we heard from Stephen about the experience of five LGBT plus Devon County Council employees, each of whom had a slightly different experience of working with us. Um, the first individual uh, case that we looked at, the person said that this was not an environment in which they felt safe to be themselves in. And again, that really struck a chord with us because above everything else, we want all our employees to be comfortable in their own skin and to feel that they're uh, acknowledged and welcomed for who they are within the organisation. But there were others who had a more positive view and slightly sometimes it was more nuanced and I guess that reflected to us the importance of us being very sensitive and sophisticated in terms of the way that we approach the LGBT network issues. This isn't about blanket approaches, this is about sensitivity to individuals and respect to individuals to be treated in the way that they want to be treated. My cabinet role uh, includes um, equality and diversity of course and um, I see my role here as making sure that all of our staff feel safe at work especially and that we show real commitment to them 
uh, in, in, in ensuring that that actually happens. And this is not just in part, this is in whole, right across the county council, irrespective of where people are working. Um, it is important that people can trust that they can go and talk to others about individual issues that they might have uh, and that that trust is in confidence and that certainly will be respected right throughout. So you can join by sending an email to lgbt at devon.gov.uk. Um, it doesn't cost anything to join um, and we ask if you can provide your name and a preferred contact address. Um, also, whether you're identifying as a uh, member of LGBT staff or whether you are, uh, uh, you're responding as a friend or an ally member at all. Um, it's really important for people to join because we recognise the louder our voice, the more we're able to create change and a positive workplace for our LGBT staff.